Hello everyone, it's Wednesday, July 7th, and we do have our second exam coming up due no later than Sunday at 11.59 p.m. That will be Sunday, I think it's the 11th. Let me check that. Yeah, that's Sunday, July 11th, due no later than 11.59 p.m. And I will post it sometime tomorrow, Thursday, July 8th, and it will be on the nervous system and the endocrine system, certainly photo transduction will play a part of that as well. And I just want to touch on what I talked about with competitive inhibition, specifically as it applies to tamoxifen. So tamoxifen is given as a competitive inhibitor for estrogen positive breast cancers. And what that does, it blocks the activity or the power, if you will, of estrogen on the two the tumor growth in breast tissues in males and females. So a competitive inhibitor will bind to the exact same receptor of that specific ligand or signaling molecule, but will not necessarily have, and as far as inhibition goes, will not have the downstream effect or impact on that specific tissue. So instead of estrogen binding to the receptor, in stimulating tumor growth, tamoxifen will bind to the very same receptor. If tamoxifen is bound to it, then estrogen cannot bind to it. You can only have one signaling molecule bound to a specific receptor. When, es when tamoxifen is bound to those estrogen receptors on breast tissues, it minimizes tumor growth if not even impeding tumor growth altogether. So that is competitive inhibition. Now I talked about osteoporosis with relation to tamoxifen. And when tamoxifen binds to estrogen receptors on osseous tissue, it does not act as a competitive inhibitor. But I do know I talked about it on this specific slide. In this case, tamoxifen is acting as an estrogen agonist. That is to say, it's going to elicit the same activity or response that estrogen would when binding to those receptors. Estrogen in premenopausal women actually slows down or inhibits osteoclastic activity in bone. Osteoclastic activity is the process by which bone is resorbed or broken down. If, osteoclast if osteoclastic activity is minimized, then we have healthy bone growth and we don't develop porous bones. Tamoxifen can be given to individuals suffering from osteoporosis because it binds to those estrogen receptors and once again elicits the exact downstream response, in this case, slowing down or minimizing osteoclastic activity. So I wanna be clear, with regards to osseous or bone tissue, tamoxifen acts as an estrogen agonist, not as a competitive inhibitor. Tamoxifen is a competitive inhibitor with regards to breast tissue and estrogen-positive breast cancers. Okay, office hours today at 3 o'clock.